Hello people, my name is DJ Paco Rich. If this is your first time watching this channel, kindly do subscribe, leave a comment and really do a share with us. Today I'm here to talk about the Black Magic Mini Pro and the Aten. Yes, if you are somebody who is into live streaming and then live production, you should be familiar with this device. Yes. And I'm here to educate you about one or two things you need not to do when you are in Africa, when you buy them and you live in Africa, especially West Africa to be precise, uh, because of the nature of our power. I mean, when I say electricity, yes. Um, I bought this last year and I still have another one and I'll explain to you why I have two of this Atem Mini Pro. Yes, I bought them and then i had an event so i had to do a test at home because it was a bit complex uh, it was an event that we were going to have a lot of call-ins and all that so i had to do a setup at home to try the whole setup um what i did not know about this particular device is that one and you should take this note do not use a lot of converters, especially those DVI to HDMI converters into the HDMI ports. It is dangerous. First, I did a setup and I had one DVI monitor, which I wanted to use as my preview monitor to do the switching. So I got myself uh, a DVI to hdmi cable which was a convection so then i connected it and that was the end of this video mixer the outputs hdmi outputs never showed again it never showed again we did everything we could do um downgrade it upgrade it anything else we could do i had to eventually get uh, an SDI to HDMI black magic convector to see that it would work even with this. And yes, still, the video HDMI out couldn't work. And mainly, you know that when you are using this, that is exactly what you use for your um, preview. That is what you use for your preview. So, this is where you can actually see your shots coming from. On, on your multi view, you understand, and I noticed because I had damaged this, then I had no option. But all the four inputs are working very, very, very well properly. So because of that, I have to go buy a new one because I had events the next day and had to spend, let's say, five thousand Ghana cities to get a new one, and I was advised that. One of the things that you need to ensure when you are using this mixer is that you need to have a power guard or a stabilizer because our power here in Africa isn't really stable. We are supposed to have 240, but sometimes the power could rise up, go beyond expectation. So then you are advised to get a power protector or a stabilizer. So when you are doing setup, what you do is that normally what I do is that when I go for events and I'm doing setup, I ensure that I put up my stabilizer or my power guard first. Then I plug my main extension cable or extension board to that power or stabilizer. Then I can plug my Atem Mini Pro to that. I would also do same thing to other devices that I'm using just to make sure that I'm safe. And since I started doing that, I haven't experienced that. The only new thing that I've experienced, which I think Black Magic would have to take a critical look at it because they have forgotten that most Africans are buying their equipment here and they will really have to consider why don't they give it a power switch most of their devices are plug 
once you plug it on and i think this is not right it is not right out of that i have a lot of damaged black magic products i have a web presenter here which also went off by then i didn't know that you need to protect your power anytime you plug it in so we would seek or beg black magic because sometimes we in africa it is very difficult for us to return our products when we buy them because you don't have the right vendors here mostly we buy them online from friends who are coming into the country and maybe if you don't have anybody returning to us the person even doesn't have time to go through that procedure you would have to go through so it is proper for black magic to ensure that the power of the devices are well protected yes they might say yes once it got spoiled i went to buy a new one but trust me when i went to the shop if by then i had seen another brand i wouldn't have repeated the same mistake by, by buying another black magic uh, mixer and we don't even have technicians around here who can actually check it out for us so sometimes you buy them it gets damaged then you put it somewhere and you struggle to get money to buy another new one there are competition there are other products in the market and we might be tempted to buy these things so my advice in every user anybody who is into streaming anybody who is into streaming please make sure that you protect your devices with power guide or stabilizer power stabilizer to ensure that you have stable power it would surprise you that the new one that i bought the input tool is not working and up to now i can explain it's the third input sorry it's not working and i can't explain what really happened and it's making my work a bit difficult so i would want to advise anybody who is into black magic stuff that please do not rely on direct power if you are somewhere in europe or america and i think it's fine they have very stable power but then if you are in ghana it's it's more complex and difficult situation here so i would entreat and ensure that or plead with everybody that you make sure that you get good power source before you plug in your black magic devices my name has been dj parker rich kindly subscribe to this channel if you have any questions with anything about live streaming vmix and black magic devices you can quickly um drop a comment there and i'll definitely give you an answer thank you for watching this video kindly subscribe to this channel and leave a comment thank you